Hi, I'm the Zyke, and the 29th of November is approaching very soon, and that day will mark my 3 year anniversary doing fitness. So that was a montage of my 4 year fitness journey. If you want a more detailed explanation on the first 3 years, then check out the video I made last year called 3 year fitness journey. So the last 2 years I made videos called 3 year body transformation and 4 year body transformation. And each year I find the tradition to make this kind of video. But I guess this year I want to make it a bit different than the last 2 years. Because I used to do video montages but this time I want to like talk more. Be more vulnerable, just speak my mind and stuff. Hopefully by making this video I can at least motivate one person to make a change. My name is Edgar Smedinj, I'm 18 years old. You might know me from TikTok or YouTube or you might have just stumbled here on by accident. But today I'm gonna tell you the story on how I not only changed my body but my whole life around in 5 years. As a little kid my dream was to always be a content creator so by the ages of 7 to 12 I started making my first videos on YouTube. Uh, at first it was just gaming videos but I realized that's not for me, it didn't get as much views so later on in life I kind of stopped doing that but this was really important to me because this proved that I could actually put in effort into making these videos and it will later help me out in life I didn't have anything going for me in life, I didn't have any hobbies so I just sat at the computer and made these gaming videos by the age of 12 I've stopped completely making these gaming videos I started hanging out with friends more this was the time where I started going outside more but I was generally happy, but I felt kind of just left out. I felt like an underdog. I felt like I needed to change something in my life. I took my first transformation pick around this time and I realized I was very insecure about my body. I just hated how I look, also hated how I act, just hated myself in general. People would just treat me like a weak child or something. And at this time I started doing those five minute ab workouts you see on YouTube. But I did them for like a week, I lost motivation, I stopped, month later I tried again, lost motivation, stopped and this was just a never ending cycle for me. Around the time when I was 13, my brother really inspired me to go to the gym because he was going already. There was also the KSI vs Joe Weller fight, the whole boxing industry and YouTubers kind of motivated me as well. Seeing KSI, one of my favorite YouTubers, like transform his body inspired me as well. I was still 13 years old, this was the first time I got drunk, first time I tried cigarettes, but I realized that wasn't for me. The next day after getting drunk, I just realized I don't want to do this anymore, I don't want to live this lifestyle, there's something I gotta do, something I gotta change, and I guess a week later was my first time at the gym, November 29th, 2017. And I still have the first gym video uh, when me and my friends went. But I remember the next day, uh, none of my friends could make it, so I decided I'm gonna go alone. And then the day after, day after, and I've been going to the gym ever since. All those five years, I haven't like missed more than four days of the gym. Uh, mainly because I was sick, that's the only reason I missed the gym, because I was sick. But other than that, four days was the maximum that I skipped. The first few months, I didn't see any progress. Like, I didn't even search anything up, I was just a beginner. I did the uh, random exercises. I didn't even know you could train uh, back and shoulders. All I used to do was uh, legs, chest and arms. Like two or three months later, someone told me you can train back and shoulders. There was even one exercise I was doing. It was for the back muscle. I thought it was a chest exercise this whole time. I didn't have any mentor or personal trainer. So I kind of raw dogged it for the first year. Uh, around when I was 14, I released uh, on my Instagram that was going to the gym. Uh, I was already seeing a bit progress. I had like abs already, a bit of muscle, but I was still feeling depressed. I had body dysmorphia. I didn't like how I acted, how I looked. So there was uh, more stuff that I needed to change in my life. There's two other important factors that helped me get out of my depression. First, first one I would say is getting out of your comfort zone. Now that's self-explanatory. You do stuff that you wouldn't usually do. Like it really boosts your confidence. The same thing as going to the gym. It boosts your confidence. Going out of your comfort zone boosts your confidence as well. And it's just a win-win situation. The second thing that helped uh, might be a bit controversial, but it's no fap. Um, and like say what you want, but porn addiction is a real thing. Uh, one of the biggest uh, bodybuilders, Larry Wheels, made a video about it. For about the last three years, I have been battling 
an addiction that has been compromising my future. He was addicted and you know, people have different addictions. For me personally, I had this addiction from ages of 10 to 14. So I just dropped all of it and as well confidence boosted up. My life just got better. I was happier. I had more energy. And this is a thing I would suggest a lot of people to try especially if you're addicted to that kind of stuff. I failed multiple times at the beginning, but I'm already four years into my nofap journey, and let me tell you, it's great. And uh, if you are struggling with any of these things, I'll let you know that it is possible. Since I did it, uh, I don't believe why you shouldn't do it. I think everyone can do it, yeah. Let's fast forward a bit to 2019. Uh, I got my love for making content back. Uh, I didn't release any videos on my YouTube channel like the whole time and then I released my first video it was an IRL video on how I uh, drove my bike to Lithuania just to do a muscle up and I found my passion for making fitness videos this year I also started doing street workout so before I was only lifting weights but I started doing street workout and to this moment I can do so many insane skills that I wouldn't think I would be able to do at that time like handstands, front flips, front levers, back flips, rib catch demon, where I put my ribs on a bar and just hold a lotus position. Like that's insane. I never thought I would be able to learn those skills, but once you learn one skill, you gain the confidence you need to learn the next skill because you already know you're able to do that skill. So why shouldn't you be able to do the next thing? The fact that it took me seven months to learn how to do a handstand and I've always dreamed of doing a handstand my whole life. When I finally achieved that, it felt so good and it helped me with learning other skills, it gave me motivation to learn those other skills. We fast forward to 2020, I'm still grinding, doing my thing, learning new skills. Also, I competed in my first competition, which was a bench competition. Uh, for my first competition, I got a bronze medal, which is third place. And this was also the year COVID hit. <clears throat> it was like two months after my first competition, uh, COVID hit, the gym shut down. So at this point I was forced to do only street workout. I couldn't lift weights, so I really improved on my street workout aspect. And uh, when the gyms finally opened up, I started lifting weights and I didn't lose any progress because the street workout helped me. But around this time I also started building my own garage gym because I was tired of quarantine. I wanted to lift weights, I wanted a gym. So I had a gym built in my garage 2021, uh, I got my first gold medal in the competition. It was a bench competition. I also got my first gold trophy. I became the national champion of Latvia in teenagers category bench. I also competed in my first street workout competition, which was a different discipline than uh, bench press. I uh, got bronze medal there, but we're continuing to improve right here. So I was actively doing two sports at the same time, competing professionally in both of those sports. I also completed my um, garage gym, so I got everything I need there. If there's another quarantine ever, I can just go to my garage, I got all the weights, I got everything that I just, I, like I'm set. Fourth year was probably my most favorite year because it taught me to adapt to the environment. Gyms closed like the four times this year because of the pandemic, so I kind of just got tired of it and I wanted to build my own gym in this garage. A tricep pull down machine, works using physics. We also got some rings, you know, always need those. And the best part of the gym, we have a lawnmower. 2022, more competitions. Started the year with the bench press competition, became a two times national champion in bench press. Uh, also street workout competitions, got like third, second place, but I did get first place in a street lifting competition, which is very huge for me. Also started doing other sports because uh, I didn't want to be just labeled as a weightlifter or a street workout calisthenics athlete. I just want to be an athlete in general. So I started doing a lot of these things. I competed in my uh, first like forest marathon. I did three of them this year. It's basically five kilometers in the forest, uphill, downhill. My doctors told me I couldn't do cardio because I had some heart problems, but I just didn't care. I ran those marathons, like, fuck what the doctors say, you just gotta do it. So I just proved to my doctors that what they told me is impossible is actually possible by doing it. Competed in my first pillow fight, might sound crazy, but yes, I did do a professional pillow fight. Uh, 
Um, also, my first boxing fight, I did lose, but that was experience gained, and I'm happy I did it. It was always on my bucket list to compete in a boxing match. Ever since the day you know, KSI and Joe Weller, uh, KSI Logan Paul also fought, I always want to do my own boxing event, and we did it this year. The boxing was also like extreme cardio, which I shouldn't do, but I, I'm just saying, I, I beat the odds, I proved them wrong, and I did it. Competed in my first boxing fight, <clears throat> of course didn't win, but it's whatever, it was fun. It was also very hard, but you know, experience is experience, we like that. Also competed in my first freestyle competition, it was the Latvian cha uh, Championship Freestyle. Got 6th place uh, out of 7 people, because uh, I'm not like a good freestyle athlete, I do more strength, but I always wanted to do it, so I stepped out my comfort zone, um, competed in this freestyle competition. 6th place, so technically I'm the 6th best freestyle athlete in Latvia this year. Also got invited to do some freestyle shows. There was an event uh, where uh, like these middle school kids went and we had to perform like a freestyle show for them. So that was fun, I really liked that. Of course kept improving my garage gym because like, as I said, it's already complete but it can never be like fully complete. So I just added new additions to it and stuff. Also organized my own street workout event. We had pull-ups, so we had people come in and do pull-ups. It was very fun organizing this event, uh, and I believe I'm going to be organizing more events in the future, so stay tuned for that. Made my own podcast this year where we talk about sports and other stuff. I also got featured in a different podcast, which was fun. Uh, and that's just 2022. I mean, the year isn't even over, but uh, that's so far everything I did. Uh, and we have next year as well, we're going to do even more insane things than this year. I know I just listed up all of my accomplishments uh, and I'm allowed to do that because I put in hard work to get here and I made this just to show people that it is possible. If you start now, you can reach your goal. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not after a month, maybe not after a year. Like, it's five years for me and I'm at this place. Like, I didn't see much progress at first, but it comes with patience and that's one of the most important things is patience. You just have to remember that nothing comes fast. You have to keep putting in work to see the changes. It's not the destination you're chasing, but the journey is the most fun part about it. Like it might not seem as though at first, but my fondest memories are just training and goofing around with my friends at the gym. And yeah, it's just the best time all around. The journey is not, I mean, you are chasing the journey, but the destination comes with it. And that's the best gift it can give you. I am extremely grateful for the life I have now. Of course, I'm gonna be striving to get more, but as well, not take anything for granted, and that's something you should always remember. I hope you liked listening to my story, and I hope it gave you some motivation. Remember this, motivation is not enough. You need discipline, and you gotta put that in yourself. But motivation is what helps you develop that discipline. So anyways, thanks for watching. This is my five-year fitness journey, and hopefully i'll get to see you next year where we do a six-year fitness journey thanks for watching remember like the video subscribe leave a comment and i will see you guys in the next video